Today we're going to take a look at drawing trees, and drawing trees is really like drawing anything else. Um, there's a couple things that I'm going to share with you. First of all, you want to draw the tree from the ground up. So you want to think about how a tree grows from the ground, and that's where I usually start my drawing. So I start with the trunk and work my way out. And you start with thicker lines, and then they progressively get smaller. A common mistake I see people make when they're drawing trees is they make the branches not very organic. And what I mean by that is they don't let the lines kind of free flow out like a tree grows. So be free with your branches um, when you draw them. Let, let the branches just expand out and slowly get smaller and let, let your line kind of wiggle around. I guess it's the best way to uh, say that. Um, another thing that's important is that you really need to think about the light side and the dark side of the tree. So you need to think about your light source. One side of the tree is going to need to clearly be highlighted and the other side of the tree is going to be clearly shadowed. That'll help your tree look like it's three-dimensional. So basically the way I like to draw trees is I'll draw the structure of the tree first. So I'll basically draw the tree the way it would look in the winter time and then slowly add the leaves. Now a lot of people also try to add each individual leaf and draw the shape, the outline for the, for the leaf and then maybe color it in. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit looser than that. Um, I, I just kind of draw a bunch of little textury lines and they will translate as leaves because leaves are really just texture on the tree. And the same thing is true with the leaves. You need to have a dark side and a light side. So as you can see, as this tree is starting to develop, I've, I've defined a light side of the tree and a dark side of the tree. And progressively, I'm adding more and more leaves. And you can add as many leaves as you want, or you can let it be sometime in, in the fall or autumn where some of the leaves have fallen off. I'm also adding a little bit of a cast shadow on the ground. That also adds to the three-dimensional quality of the tree. So there's our first tree. Let's take a look at another tree. And in this case, I'm going backwards. I'm drawing the shape of the tree and then defining the trunk. So um, you kind of have to look at the shape of the tree and, and decide uh, which way to approach it. Again, with this tree, I'm going to define the dark side and the light side of the tree. And I'm just going to create that shadow and that form by adding the value. Now, when I'm making the marks with the pencil, I'm trying to create the texture of the leaves on this tree. These, these leaves are really small and pointy type leaves. So um, the texture I'm creating are really small pointy type lines. And again, I'll put that cast shadow underneath and that helps define that tree. All right, we'll do one more tree here. And this time I'm starting with the trunk and then I'm just gonna go ahead and start making the texture of the leaves. So all three of these trees are different approaches to drawing the tree. The first one I drew the trunk up and then drew the branches and then added the leaves. Uh, the second one I drew the shape of the tree then added the trunk. And this third one, I started with the trunk but now I'm drawing the leaves because this tree is gonna have more leaves on it. So you're gonna be able to see less of the branches. And again, it's all about defining the light side and the dark side. And in this case, you can really see the difference between the light side and the dark side of the tree. It's all done with just texture and it'll translate as leaves. You know, one thing that might help you with this is if you kind of squint your eyes and see the tree a little bit blurry, it'll, it, those values will stand out, the dark values and the light values. So drawing trees doesn't have to be hard. You just draw what you see, be loose, define the texture, and define the light source.